hard coding is one of the most common errors in financial models. Just to show you what it is and the problems it can cause, here I've got a simple spreadsheet. I've explicitly stated the tax rate of 30%, and so a fair assumption is that this model uses 30%. But if you look at the tax formula over here, you'll see it's using F30, this is correctly using the net profit pre-tax, but it's multiplying with a 28%. Someone has typed in 28%, and you'll see that applies to all these formulas. So firstly, what is written here and what is written here is different. So there'll be an error of assumption. You'll see as well, if I look at that formula there, I've got a formula and it's trying to work out the cost of sales, so it's correctly using the 29%. However, someone has gone and put plus 300 here. The problem with this is perhaps in this month that's true, but next month you'll forget that you've put in the plus 300. And so all along people will assume that the 29% is correct when actually there's another number over here. Another problem with hard coding is how difficult it is to make changes. So let's say now we, ha we have decided that this 28% is incorrect and perhaps we want it to become the 30%. What we'd need to do is now go find all the cells that have 28% in them and correct them to perhaps either look here or if we're going to keep with the bad practice, replace it with a 30%. However, so you may think you're going to be clever and perhaps do a find replace where what we're going to say is go to the 28% and replace it to 30%. So we can do that, but notice that my GP percentage here happens to be 28%. So when I make these replacements, can you see, so these are okay. But the problem is it's now gone and changed something here. So by hard coding, you run the risk of having errors existing in your model or making the errors at a later stage. If you avoid hard coding, it means that changes are so much easier. So for example, here we had to go through quite a process to get that to be 30%. If we did it the correct way, so in this sheet here, you'll see now I've got a formula and it looks at that cell, so there's no hard coding in here. If I need these to all be 30% now, all I do is I come here, I change it to 30%, my numbers are working, and because of the formula, you can see they are correct. For our second example of hard coding, so over here, remember we had the plus 300, rather than fix the formula, you must correct the input. So remember that's where it was looking. So now what we're going to tell it is we want this answer to be 186075. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to come here and instead of changing the formula, we change the input. And I'm going to use a goal seek here. So I know that cell must equal minus 186075. And the cell that it's allowed to change is that one there. If you make this a little bit bigger, you'll see now it more accurately shows what that percentage is, which is useful information. Just one more thing about hard coding. So let's just look at that formula again. So we are happy that there is no hard coding here. Notice, however, there is a number in here. There's a 1. So this rule applies to numbers where you're adding them to affect the formula. Every now and again, you're going to have to use a plus one or a minus one, or maybe number of months in the year, things that are highly unlikely to change. So although we allow some form of hard coding, you must be very careful what you put in there. If it's any sort of number that may need to change, rather avoid putting it inside the formulas.